Hey everybody, Kyle here. I've been a big fan of time-lapse photography for quite a long time. I bought this tripod from AliExpress for like $30 thinking I was getting a deal and it kind of works when everything is going right. However, I've been on hikes where parts just unscrew themselves and it falls apart. It also has this stupid legs that you have to flip around and lock this thing in. It does the trick for walking around the city and stuff, but on camping trips, I don't want something that just falls apart. If I can't rely on it, what's the point, right? So long story short, I'm in the market for a new tripod. What's finally encouraged me to uh, make the jump to something proper is I'm a big fan of these Peak Design capture clips. And I think the best thing about them is the super tiny clip on the bottom of the camera. It's a Arca Swiss compatible but it's just so small and so tiny, it's not obstructive. It doesn't feel like it gets in the way, but it also doesn't have any pins on the bottom. And this tripod doesn't have any pins on the top, so it can slide. And I had my camera on this and it slid off the tripod, landed about two and a half feet onto a hard tile floor. It smashed up my eye cup that's where it landed. The drop certainly did a number on my viewfinder. That's a nice gouge. The eye cup landed on my camera's rear view screen and I thought I had actually cracked my camera screen, but as it turns out, I'm fortunate in that uh, I had a cover on it, one of these covers. So I was, I was grateful that I was able to peel off the damaged one, find that my actual camera was still okay. See yeah, on top of this tripod, not being reliable. It's just slow to set up with the leg flip thing around. I can't be bothered, so I'll leave it like this half the time. Since I'm quite happy with a lot of uh, Peak Design stuff, I'm going to be going with their, tra their travel tripods. Well, new tripod arrived in the mail. It's a fair bit larger than my old one. It's about uh, 21 versus 40 centimeters. That one is definitely heavier. The old one is 32 centimeters around roughly. And this one is just a, a bit below 25. So that is a fair bit more narrow. There's the difference. Of course, when you're using this kind of tripod, you don't really transport it like this. I usually end up using the tripod like this when I'm on the go with it. Yeah, the peak isn't that much bigger, really, from like a practical how I actually use my equipment standpoint. I've uh, popped the head of the peak out a little bit. I'm lazy, that's probably how I'll be carrying it around. So 34 centimeters versus 42 centimeters. Of course, a tripod's ability to pack down small doesn't matter um, if it's not big enough to be practical while you're using it. So my old one, this is the maximum it can extend to, about... Uh, 58 centimeters, and the peak with just one of its legs extended beats the old one. So, and of course this can go much taller. So it's a bit taller than my old man Frodo, but uh, if you include the head, yeah, it's probably more fair to compare them head to head. They're pretty damn close. Of course, this is heavy as hell, hard to pack, and also requires a silly tool. Of course, the real reason why I bought this thing is that pin right there and that pin right there. Now when I'm set up for a time lapse, I don't have to worry about the uh, clip potentially sliding forward or sliding back like I did with the old one. You know, that's that's why you were replaced because you caused my precious camera to drop and smash. You're going to keep my gear nice and safe and stable, aren't you? You'd better.